this is Katie. In today's video, I want to do a little morning routine, get ready with me kind of video. I'm going to be honest, I don't have a typical morning routine. Every single morning is not the same for me. Some days I wake up and I start working immediately. Some days I go to the gym. Some days I go out and run errands. It totally depends. But today's morning routine is going to be gym, shower, makeup, um, my morning smoothie that I have all the time. Um, yeah. And so I just wanted to kind of take you guys along with me and tell you guys what I do when I go to the gym, show you how I make my smoothie that I have all the time, like my protein shake that I have all the time and show you a lot of like my favorite beauty and skincare products that I use all the time. Like I'll show you what products I use when I take a shower, my deodorant, my makeup, my skincare, all that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in this video, I really hope that you're subscribed and I hope that you keep watching. Okay. So it is 8:35. Basically the first thing that I do when I wake up always is make my bed. I have found the easiest way to make sure that my bed is always made in the morning is that I tuck my sheets in. And for me at least, when I tuck my sheets in, and I guess how I sleep and stuff too, my sheets and stuff don't really move a ton. So I just literally need to get out of bed and then like fold this back over and then my bed is made. So I do that and I mean, I'm not doing it right this second because I'm still talking to you. <laughs> But that's what I'm going to do when I get out of bed. Basically, right now, I'm going to put my gym clothes on and go to Planet Fitness. Um, a lot of you guys know that I've had a Planet Fitness membership for years. When I'm traveling, when I'm living on the road, if you don't know me, hi, I'm Katie. Sometimes I have lived in my car and traveled and gone on really long road trips. Sometimes I live in houses like I am right now. But... When I've lived in my car or gone on road trips, I have Planet Fitness, sure to exercise sometimes, but a lot of the reason that I had a Planet Fitness membership is to take showers there. Um, obviously I don't need to do that now because I have a shower in my house, but I have a Planet Fitness membership and I go there to exercise. So yeah, I'm gonna go change and then we will head to the gym and then I'll show you the couple things that I'm going to be doing at the gym this morning. All right, let's get ready for the gym. I'm just gonna like re-put my hair up, you know, like brush it up. All right, so again, this is like a, for me at least, a very realistic morning routine. I'm tired <laughs> and uh, I'm just pushing through. I don't drink caffeine, if you didn't know that. I don't drink caffeine, so there are just some mornings that I wake up and I just have to kind of push through a little bit and then I eventually, you know, wake up. But also I do have bangs, but they're long enough-ish that if I have a high ponytail, they will go back. All right, hairs up. Beautiful. Um, now I'm just gonna brush my teeth, put together on, and get dressed. Um, my lens is dirty. There we go. Hello. Um, okay, so I just have a little electric toothbrush and the Twice toothpaste. It is charcoal icy mint. I used this for the first time yesterday. It's pretty good. I like it. It's pretty good. And it's charcoal, so it's great. Black. Cool. All right. Brush your teeth, I'll be right back. Okay, I angled you differently. Can you see me? We're good. All right, last thing that I'm gonna do before I get dressed is put on my deodorant. You guys know I have been using native deodorant for years. And so I wanna thank them for sponsoring this video. And I wanted to show you a couple of scents that I have. And one of the main reasons that I love native deodorant so much is that it's aluminum free and paraben free. I do not like to have aluminum and parabens in my deodorant. And so native, I know that I can trust them. A couple of my favorite scents are the citrus and herbal musk. You guys, this smells so good. It smells so good. It smells like a gorgeous cologne. Like I would say it's more on the masculine side, but I still totally wear this. One of my other favorites is the sea salt and cedar. This is definitely more of like a fresh scent. This is one of my favorites. I really like that one a lot. And then my favorite sweet scent is their sweet peach and nectar. It smells so good. It literally smells like peaches. I love that one. I'm going to use the citrus and herbal musk today. So they're also vegan and cruelty free and they do have a plastic free range as well if that's really something that you want to look into. And they also just came out with their candy shop collection. And so I have a couple of these as well. This is the strawberry and vanilla taffy. It literally just smells like, like strawberry candy, strawberry cake, something like that. I also really like the gummy bears. I think that's my favorite in this whole range. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys uh, the deodorant that I use. And Native also has um, like hair care, body wash, uh, toothpaste, a bunch of stuff like that. My favorite other product besides their deodorant is their body wash. I think I've been using this for 
close to a year at this point. So if you're interested in like switching to aluminum free and paraben free deodorant, or you already use aluminum free and paraben free deodorant, but you want to stock up on some native, I do have a code for you guys. So I'm going to put it on the screen right here. Katie Carney eight. And normally if you get a pack of three deodorants, it's $39, but with my code, you'll save 33% and it's going to be $26. And you'll also get 20% off any body wash as well. So yeah, thank you so much to native for sponsoring this video. I really do love their products a lot. And so if you're interested, I really hope that you go check out that link I have in my description. Um, but yeah, all right, put my deodorant on, brush my teeth. That's it. Now I'm just going to go get dressed. And this normally takes me two seconds, but when I'm chatting and talking, it just takes a little bit longer, but really generally on my like gym mornings, I can wake up, brush my teeth, put my deodorant on, get changed and I'm out the door. So yeah, let's go get changed and head to the gym. I'm finally starting to wake up a little bit, <laughs> a little bit. All right, let's go. Okay. So here's my little loft closet thing. It's really just the loft up here that I've turned into a closet. And I can't really walk with this camera because it gets so shaky, but this bin right here is all my gym clothes. Okay, so these are Yogalicious pants. I really, really like these a lot. And these have a little pocket right here, if you can see. Um, and then this is a New Balance bright yellow green. Is it green or yellow? Ah, I think it's yellow, um, just a sports bra. Um, but obviously I'm going to put a shirt on over it. Maybe not obviously. Do you guys go to the gym in just a sports bra or do you put a shirt on? If I'm going outside for a walk and it's hot out, I would just wear a sports bra. Um, but at the gym, I don't know if I've ever just worn a sports bra at the gym, but I've seen people just wear sports bras. I don't know. All right. Oh, I have this like matching shirt. Should I do this? Um, okay. So most of the time I just wear a regular t-shirt. I only have like two like exercise shirts, but anyway, all right, let me show you this outfit. This is it. And then I'm going to put on probably my new balance sneakers. Oh, I think this is New Balance as well, yeah. Yeah, it's been said There's a cure for a heavy head Heaven forbid it Instead, I wanna make it safe to go to bed You can't bet My galows we cannot regret I wake up in cold sweats And I can't get the taste of you off my palate just for a second um i hope you can hear me i uh just left the gym um when i'm there i just have my wireless earbuds i was listening to music i was listening to a band called joan i love them so much yeah so i did um what half mile on the treadmill but most of it was at a 12 percent incline and then i did 50 leg press kicky leg things and then 50 of the um, calf raises, but on the leg press, I just did them there too. And that was at a hundred pounds. And then I just did um, five minutes on the bike, but I did that a uh, high-ish resistance for me too. I think I did most of that at like seven. And then the last you know minute or so I did it on like a two. But yeah, I'm pretty new to the gym still. I've only been going consistently-ish for maybe like three months, which is a pretty long time. But when I go, I generally go for like 20-ish minutes or so. And so I am just kind of easing into things. And also when I started out, honestly, like I was pretty out of shape. And so I just know that some of these things like take my body a little bit of getting used to. And then, you know, hopefully one day I can run a mile without being super out of breath. But right now, that's just not what my body does. So I got out and easing into it. I'm easing into it. So that's what I did at the gym and i'm gonna go home and shower so anyway all right i'll see you guys in a couple minutes i'm looking that way but i know the camera's that way i'm sorry <laughs> all right i'll talk to you guys in a second okay i just got home i think you're crooked i think can't tell um i just got home 
and uh, I'm gonna shower quick and I just want to show you the products that I've been using almost all these products I've been using for at least a year so they're definitely products that I love um the first one is the native body wash I love this I have the unscented and the cashmere and rain in my shower right now but I do have a couple other scents but I love these I love these this one I don't know if this was a limited edition scent or not, but if it's not, this is one of my favorites. And I also have the unscented one, which is unscented. Let me get the other products that I can show you. I'm still out of breath from the gym. All right, so my face wash is the Derma E Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. This is probably like my 10th bottle of this. I love this so much. It's really good for, I have like dry to combo acne prone skin, or at least I used to, because I have not really had acne over the last couple of years, which I'm really grateful for. But I do think part of it is because of the products that I've been using. And I think this has been helpful for me. It does not feel too drying, but it still feels clean. Like I love this stuff. Hydrating dental cleanser. I think I can get this at Whole Foods, I think. And then I also like to use physical scrubs. I know some people would prefer uh, chemical exfoliators. I like physical ones every couple days. And so I really like the Pacifica Pore Warrior Scrub and the Derma E Deep Pore Acne Scrub. I like both of these as well. This one I think like Target, potentially Whole Foods. This one I can only find online nowadays, but I really like this a lot too. This one's gentler. Um, that's it. That's all I have to say about those. Okay, so that's it for my face. And then uh, my body, I already showed you this. And then the shaving cream that I use is the Flamingo one, but I don't really have like a total preference on this. This is just the one that I have and it's fine, it's good. And then my hair care, my actual favorite product from the Native Hair Care line is the Strengthening Hair Mask. I really like this a lot, so I have that in my shower as well. And then for the shampoo and conditioner that I just started using, so this is like the newest addition to my shower, it's the It's a 10 Miracle Silk Shampoo and Conditioner. I got this during like the Black Friday Friday sale when it was buy one get one free or something like that. I do really like these. I don't know if I would buy it again, but I don't hate it. It's one of those things. Like I like it. I'm definitely going to use it up. I'm going to continue to use it while I still have it. But I think I might try one of the other lines from It's a 10 as well because I really do like their leave-in products. Like I have their oil. I have uh, one of their other leave-in products. Um, that I like and so I wanted to try out their shampoo and conditioner and I do like it. It's good. I don't really have much of a stronger opinion than that though. I've used it a few times. Another shampoo that I use for if I have a lot of dry shampoo in my hair is the Verb Reset. Uh, this is really good as a like purifying, clarifying shampoo. So if you have a lot of product buildup or just haven't washed your hair in a while or whatever. So I'll use this, you know, once a month, once every other month or something like that. And this I've been using for a year and I still have a little bit left. So that's how like infrequent I use it, but that's generally, again, like if I feel like my hair really needs like a deeper clean, I will use this. And I generally only wash my hair like once or twice a week. So anyway, that's all the products in my shower that I use and love. All right, I'm gonna go shower just really quickly and then I'll show you what I'm gonna wear for the day and then we're gonna go make my smoothie because I'm hungry. Oh no, then I'm gonna show you my skincare. Then we're gonna make my smoothie. Okay, bye. All right, hey guys, I just got out of the shower and I'm just gonna be at home editing all day. So I just put on a little white tank top and some black sweatpants hanging out of the house. I think these are both from H&M. Oh no, this is from Target. This is Target, these are H&M sweats. This is what I'm gonna be wearing today while I edit. All right, let's go do my skincare quick. Okay, so I have tried a ton of different skincare over the years. Some really high-end, some more drugstore. I think I've found like all my favorite products. And all of my products are from The Ordinary and Pacifica. Both of those you can get at Ulta. Pacifica you can also get sometimes at Target and Whole Foods and stuff. And then The Ordinary also is sold at Sephora. Um, but my favorite product of theirs that I really do think helped clear my acne is their Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1%. This is the two ounce one. This is like the the big one and it's only like $12 or something for the big one. So just put this first. Okay, so I just put some of that on my skin. This I put on my bare skin right after I wash it. And this is like my holy grail. I have been repurchasing this for like years. I love this product a lot. A newer product that I'm trying out, I'm still gonna finish the bottle, but I haven't necessarily seen any differences yet because it's only been a few weeks, is the Multipeptide and HA Serum by The Ordinary. This used to be called something else. What was it? Benefit? No, Buffet, Buffet. And uh, they changed the name. And I don't know any benefit yet because I've only been using it in a few weeks and sometimes skincare can take a while, sometimes. So just put a little bit of that on top and then just one more product. So 
Over the last couple years, I think the hardest thing for me to find was a daytime cream, like a daytime lotion. But I really like this one. This is my second bottle of this because I really do think that I like it. It's the Pacifica Vegan Ceramide Barrier Face Lotion. I think a lot of daytime lotions either are like gel based or they're a little too light for my like dry to combo-ish skin or they just, you know, have fragrance or they're expensive or whatever and um, or they break me out or something like that. So this one is a fair price. I think it's like, I don't know, 15-ish dollars or something. Thing, and it does not break me out. It hydrates my skin, but does not make it too greasy. It's just like for me, great. I love this product a lot. That's it. Oh, and I'll put on a little eye cream. I don't know if eye cream actually really does anything, but I just have this one. The Vegan Ceramide is the same um, Pacifica line. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of this. When you're putting eye cream on, do it as gently as possible. Like if you're gonna wipe, make sure it's gentle or pat it in. If you wanna see my nighttime skincare routine, again, it's only a couple products. Let me know, I can do like this video, but a nighttime version of one. Oh, I need to put more deodorant back on. Oh, Katie, because I just washed it off in the shower. I think I wanna try the strawberry one. If you like sweet scents, check out that candy shop line. All right, my hair. Again, I'm just gonna be home all day. I don't know if I'm doing anything tonight. I don't think so. But even if I do, I can just get ready again later. But it's still morning. So I probably have about, I don't know, at least seven or eight hours of editing to do, I would say. All right. That didn't do anything different. That's okay. Hair's up. I'm going to look like this. I am going to just put on the tiniest bit of makeup. Sometimes it just like makes me feel a little bit more like refreshed and woken up if I have a little bit of makeup on. So let's do that quick and then I'll make my smoothie. As you guys know, I definitely don't wear makeup every day, but I'm kind of just in the mood to just put a little bit on, just a little bit. Um, I'm going to put on some Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. I'm going to put on ColourPop. Actually, I don't want to use my brow pencil. I think I'll just use a brow gel, like a tinted brow gel the ColourPop, whatever you're called, <laughs> light brown brow gel. That's literally what it's called. And then a tiny bit of concealer and a little bit of like bronzer, I think. If you could only put on one makeup product, what would it be? Lip balm doesn't count. That's an extra. You can have lip balm too, <laughs> but what would it be? Because I don't know if mine would be mascara or eyebrows. I don't know. Can I use both? Can I use mascara and also put it in my eyebrows? I don't know, because I think both of those, for me, make a really big difference. When I just have a little bit of mascara or a little bit of eyebrow, like, I don't know, even just that, I feel like it just makes a little bit of a difference, or a lot of it of a difference. A lot of it? Sure. Again, just a little, like I'm not gonna curl my eyelashes, I'm not gonna do 12 coats like I normally do. Just a little. And then this eyebrow gel, I'm not even sure I love this. I don't know yet because I've only used it a few times. And I don't know if I've actually ever used it alone, so this will be a good test. Oh yeah, that's nice. My favorite is still the Glossier one. Love that one. This is actually similar-ish, like it's not too sticky. Oh yeah, I like that. Again, just for like a little bit of color and definition and stuff. Tiny bit of this Tarte H2O concealer, is that what it's called? No, it's called Power Flex. Where did I get the H2O from? Oh, because it's called, it's the Tarte C line, like S-E-A, I don't know. I'm just gonna do a little here. I think that's it, just a little. Oh, let me put a little bit more on the side of my nose. I get red sometimes like right here. I think I wanna do like a little bit of really bright blush. I don't know what mood I'm in today, but I'm gonna use this Pixie Quad. It's called the Nuance Quartet Sugar Blossom. And I think I wanna like do that with this a little bit. Like this is a highlighter, but if I just mix them together. Just a little. Oh yeah, that's cute. All right, that's it. Just really quick makeup. And I do wanna put earrings in. Which ones do I wanna put on? These are Ana Luisa, of course. If you guys watch my channel for a while, you know that most of my earrings are from Ana Luisa. Okay. That's it, that's what I'm looking like today. Um, so let's go make my smoothie. Also, I'm gonna put socks on or my, oh, my slippers. I think these are from Target, I think. All right, let's go downstairs.
All right, hey guys, so I'm gonna make my little smoothie, protein shake, whatever you wanna call it. So my roommate has a ninja that he lets me borrow, which I'm very grateful for. And so basically, he has one of these cups. So the first ingredient, there's literally three ingredients or four, like today I'm gonna use four, but it's super simple and I love it. I have it almost every single day. Um, so the first ingredient is frozen bananas. And obviously you can use bananas and ice, but I just break apart my bananas and then I freeze them. And then it's like you have bananas and ice at the same time. So basically, let me see if I can like show you what I'm doing while I'm doing it. I put bananas in the cup. And I just eyeball all of this. And I do kind of break them up a little bit though with my hands so they don't get super stuck in the Ninja. But yeah, I eyeball this. And there's sometimes that it's done and I have to add a little bit more water or whatever, but I just kind of fill this to the top-ish. If you can see that, it says max liquid right there. So I just kind of fill that to the top. My hands are freezing now. <laughs> and then I use this organic coconut dairy-free unsweetened vanilla, so delicious fake milk kind of thing. You can also just use water. You can also use water and coconut cream, um, but I am just currently using this. I basically do half this and half water. There's no rhyme or reason for that, but that's kind of what I do. So I'm gonna fill this very hard to do with one hand. I have very small hands and this is heavy. All right, there we go. Just half-ish that, again, no measurements. And then the rest with water, so let me get that. Okay, and then the last ingredient is this Vega Protein Made Simple Vanilla Protein Powder. The chocolate's good too, but especially in these smoothies, I really like the vanilla a lot. Again, I just totally eyeball it. So here's one scoop-ish. I'm almost out of this, but I do have backups. So I did about, one and three quarter scoop. All right, then I put the top on and make sure it's super tight. Hold on, it doesn't wanna go on. There we go, there we go, there we go. It wasn't like on the little track thing, you know? All right, make sure that's on super tight. And then I'm not gonna show this part because it gets super loud, but I just put it on the Ninja and blend it up until it's all good. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, this consistency is a little too thick this would be really good as like a smoothie bowl base as well. So you can make it as whatever thickness as you want, but this is a little thick, just a little bit. So I'm just gonna put a tiny bit more of the milk. Blend it one more time. Okay. Mm, it's so good, so good. I do wanna try different protein shake slash smoothie recipes. So let me know in the comments, like what your favorite smoothies are or your favorite protein shakes or your favorite fruit to add, because I've just been making it like this for the last couple months. And there are certain things I can't have because I'm on a pretty restricted diet, but there are some fruits that I can still have that I can add to this. But even just this by itself, just like bananas and a little vanilla is so good. And then I always make sure to at least rinse this off. Even if I don't wash it immediately, which I usually do, I still make sure to rinse it so it doesn't get all like gloopy in the blade. So let me do that. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed doing this little like get ready with me morning routine kind of video. Again, I don't have a typical morning routine right now. I have in the past through different stages of my life, but right now, some of my mornings I wake up and I just kind of hang out for a little bit. Some of my mornings I wake up and immediately start working. Some of my mornings I wake up and go to the gym. You know, I have a lot of different types of mornings. And so I just wanted to show you one of them, but in a really realistic way for me, at least like this was a realistic morning for me. And so so hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I want to thank Native again for sponsoring this video. I love their deodorant and their body wash. So please go check out the link that I have in my description. And yeah, I really hope that you guys are subscribed and let me know in the comments any other kind of videos that you want to see. But yeah, I guess that's going to be it. Thank you again for watching. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you. Jesus loves you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.